Six. Right now, police in Denver are searching for three possible suspects responsible for killing a man and injuring five others this afternoon. Denver police are looking for this SUV there on the left. That's the last known vehicle the suspects were in. The shooting happened along East Colfax, very near the Denver Aurora City line. And that is where we find Denver 7's Rob Harris. And Rob, you've been talking to neighbors in that area who tell you that scene was pretty chaotic today. Yeah, and exactly right. In fact, we even spoke with one man who took video on his cell phone of the immediate aftermath of this shooting. It's too graphic for us to show you on air, but what I can tell you is I've seen the video and yeah, that's the exact right word. It was chaos after this shooting. We see many people screaming for help and even trying to perform CPR and other life-saving measures on the people on the ground who had just been shot while they waited for first responders to arrive. So I've spoken with many neighbors off camera and also on camera this afternoon to get a sense of what they were seeing and hearing in the immediate aftermath. I've heard from them that they heard at least 20 to 25 gunshots this afternoon when this was all taking place. And then they heard people yelling and screaming for help after that. Police arrived on scene just a few minutes after the shooting, we were told. And several neighbors tell me they're very sad to see this happen this afternoon, but they can't say they're surprised. It's just kind of a revolving door. I think a lot of people are just more numb to it. They, they don't notice it. It didn't surprise me the least bit. I mean, we knew there was people that had been hanging out on that corner. Uh, they've been doing so pretty regularly. It was only a matter of time before it, it felt like something was going to happen. So as you can see behind me, the eastbound lanes of Colfax are still completely blocked off to traffic as police remain on scene to investigate this shooting. We're told they'll be here for quite some time. So eastbound traffic is still shut off at Colfax from Uinta um, for a few blocks behind me here. I'm not exactly sure where the traffic picks back up again, but it is being rerouted. What I can tell you, though, is that westbound traffic has now been reopened for uh, Colfax heading towards downtown Denver. And all right, good to know. Thank you, Rob. And we will, of course, check back in with you tonight on Denver 7 News at 10.